Hello, hello, hello. I'm back, and this time I did us all a favor and I imported or I did all the NPM installs and, and things of that nature already. You got a viewer in the room. What's up, Rigid Satin? How you doing? Oh, it's a uh, a tool to build websites quickly. If you want to see what I'm doing, I can uh, give me a minute. I'll share the link with you so you can see it. I'm not able to share my screen through Spank Chain. You can only see through my webcam. But it's uh, Gatsby is a pretty cool tool. It's something I've been working on for a couple of days now. Okay, here it is. Is your first time on Twitch? I mean, not Twitch, but Spank Chain. I'm going to grab some chips real quick. I'll be right back. All right, here I come. All right. Whew. All right, let's check it out. All right. Data and Gatsby. Welcome to part four. There's a link to a tutorial that I'm doing. So if you want to follow along. Right, working to part four. We're about halfway through. Hope things are going well. Things are going all right so far. Recap so far we learned how to use React, how powerful it is, and how we're able to create your own components to act 
as custom building watch website, all right? You can also explore styling components using CSS modules, what's in this tutorial. In the next four parts of the tutorial, including this one, you'll be diving into Gatsby Data Layer, which is a powerful feature of Gatsby that lets you easily build sites from Markdown, WordPress, headless CF, CMSs, and other data sources of all flavors. Gatsby Data Layer is powered by GraphQL. For an in-depth tutorial on GraphQL, we recommend how to GraphQL. Oh, All wow. right, here we go. Check it out. Data and Gatsby. Website is four parts: HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and data. The first half of the tutorial is focused on the first three. Now let's learn how to use data in Gatsby site. What is data? A very computer science answer would be that's something like strings, integers, objects, etc. For the purpose of Gatsby, however, a more useful answer That is everything that lives outside of React component. All right. So far, you're writing text and adding images directly and components, which is an excellent way to build many websites. But often, you want to store data outside of components and then bring the data into the component as needed. Mm -hmm. If you're putting a website, WordPress or other contributors have a nice interface for adding maintaining content and Gatsby. The data for the site, pages and posts are in WordPress. You can pull that data as needed into your components. Okay. Data can also live in files like Markdown, CSV, etc., as well as databases and APIs of all sorts. Mm.
Now let's get back to it. <clears throat> All right. Gatsby data layer lets you pull data from these source and many other and any other source directly into your components in the shape and form you want. Using unstructured data versus GraphQL, do I have to use GraphQL and source plugins to pull data into Gatsby sites? Absolutely not. You can use Node, create pages, API to pull and structure data into Gatsby pages directly rather than through the GraphQL data layer. Great choice for small sites while GraphQL and source plugins can help save time with more complex sites. See the using Gatsby without GraphQL guide to learn more. To, to learn how to pull data from into Gatsby site so using the Node Create Pages API and to see an example site.
Right, fuck it. get back to it all right <clears throat> when do I use unstructured data versus FQL if you're building a small site one efficient way to build it is to pull unstructured data as outlined in this guide you can create pages API and then if the site becomes more complex later on you move on to building more complex sites and you'd likely you'd like to transform your data follow these steps
Hey, we got a visitor. Who we got? Starved. Starved of Session 86. What's up? Last chip. All right. Check out the plugin library to see if the source plugins and their transformer plugins you'd like to use already exist. If they don't, read plug in authoring guide and consider building your own. <clears throat> How gas these data layer use your GraphQL to pull data into components. There are many options for loading data into React. <clears throat> Components, one of the most popular and powerful of these is technology called GraphQL. It was invented at Facebook to help product engineers pull needed data into components. GraphQL is a query language. If familiar with SQL, it works in a similar way. Using a special syntax, you describe the data you want in your component, and then that data gives is given to you. Gatsby uses GraphQL to enable component to declare the data they need. Create a new example site. Create another new site for this part of the tutorial. You're going to build a markdown blog called Pandas Eating Lots. It's dedicated to showing off the best pictures and videos of pandas eating lots of food. Along the way, you'll be dipping your toes in GraphQL, Gatsby's markdown support. Open a new tutorial window. 
terminal window and run the following command to create a new Gatsby site in the directory called Tutorial Part 4. Then navigate to the new directory. We did that and it's already running. I've also installed this library. Then install other needed dependencies at the root of the project. You'll use topography theme Kirkham and you'll try out a CSS library called Emotion. Set up a site similar to what you need ended up <coughs> with. This site will have a lot of layout component and two page component. What's up? We got another visitor. Hungry Passion. What's up, Hungry Passion? So this is our layout. <clears throat> All right, so I need to Here we go. Finally. Now I'm going to source, component, layout. I'm going to do the cheese sticking. Okay. All right. Now let's update <clears throat> the index file, which is inside of pages. Import React from React. <clears throat> Import Layout from Components. <clears throat> layout. And then Export Default. Got Arrow Function here. Hey, look at that. Is it gonna work? Here we go. About pandas eating lots. We got another visitor. What's up? Juicy Stubble. How you doing, Juicy Stubble? I am not going. I'm going to go ahead and copy that part.
got a little bit of cheese left. <clears throat> All right, now I need to put my utils. File. All right, let's go ahead and import topography from topography, import Kurt Ham theme from topography theme. Kurt Ham. Const topography equals new topography. Kurt Ham theme. Export default. Export const rhythm All right now we're going to do our Gatsby file. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that uh It creates that for us. Huh? Plugins. Motion. <clears throat> Dog. Can't be. Plugging in topography. Options. Add to config module. Source details topography. And the above files, add the above files and then run Gatsby develop. Per usual, you should see the following. All right, where we at? Where we at though? All right, so somewhere I misspelled React. There we go. should come up looking the same.
All right, there we go. Shit's mad. Uh, did seem to. Uh, I think it's got to reprocess it or something. It could be because the computer's doing so much, it's not reading the file properly. <clears throat> Let's go back and review what we got. Gatsby config, all right. Gatsby plugin emotion. Resolve. Gatsby plugin typography. Options. <laughs> Path to config module. Source utils typography. All right, that's doing what it's supposed to do. Typography.js. Kirkham theme. Okay. And this one I copied and pasted, so <clears throat> not exactly sure. Now you can start querying. I'm not sure why this is doing this. I think it'd be cleaner. Looking more like what's on the site, but we're going to keep moving. Your first GraphQL query. When building sites, you'll probably want to reuse common bits of data like the site layout, for example, or the site title, for example. Look at the about page. You'll notice that you have the site title in both the layout component, the site header, as well as the H1 of the about page header. But if you want to change the site title in the future, you have to search for the title across all the components and edit each instance. This is both cumbersome and error prone, especially for larger, more complex sites. Instead, you can store the title in one location or a single place, and Gatsby will pull your updated title into files that reference it. The place for these common bits of data is the site metadata object in the config.js file. Add your site title to the Gatsby.js file. Gatsby config. All right, module exports. Site meta data title title from site meta data. <coughs> All right, nothing else changes. Restart the server. All right, so I guess hot reloading doesn't work on this portion. Now the site title is available to be queried Add it to the about.js file using a page query. Import GraphQL from Gatsby. Data. All right. this to 
data dot site dot site meta data dot title. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Export const query GraphQL query site Still waiting on the server to restart. If you've seen the previous videos, you know this is going to take a minute. The basic GraphQL, but we're going to read ahead. The basic GraphQL query that retrieves a title in our about.js changes above is. site metadata title. In part five, you'll meet a tool that lets us interactively explore the data available through GraphQL, help formulate queries like the one above, page queries like lit outside of the component definition by convention at the end of the page component file and are only available on page components. Use a static query. Static query is a new API introduced to Gatsby v version two that allows non-page components like layout.js component to retrieve data on data via GraphQL queries. <clears throat> let's use it newly, let's use its newly introduced hook version, use static query, go ahead and make some changes to your source components layout file. To use the static query hook and a data dot site dot site metadata title reference that uses this data. When you are done with files like this, am I still waiting, Homer? All right, we're gonna go ahead. All right, children, and then we got <clears throat> const data to static. Query GraphQL Query site 
site metadata title. Return statement. Okay, it compiled. Now let's look at the new Sure, this other stuff is working properly first. Oh, I get it. Link to home. What's going on? I'm on the wrong page. About title from Meta from Site Metadata. Okay, that's dope. It worked. <clears throat> okay, now let's make sure that this. All right, I'm on the right page. I did that part already. Now I have to add the new title. Data site that site metadata title. Okay. It's compiling. <clears throat> Maybe we should be refreshing soon. Title from metadata about title from site metadata. All right, so we got it working. While why use two different queries here? These examples were quick introductions to query types, how they are formatted, and where they can be used. For now, keep in mind that only pages can make page queries. Non-page components such as layout can use static query. Part seven of the tutorial explains these in greater depth, but let's restore the real title. One of the core principles of Gatsby is that creators need an immediate connection to what they're creating. Hat tip to Brett Victor. In other words, when you make any change to code, you should immediately see the effect of that change. You manipulate an input of Gatsby and you see the new output showing up on the screen. So almost anywhere, everywhere, changes you make will immediately take effect. Edit the Gatsby config that's JS file again, this time changing the title back to pandas eating lots. The page should show up very quickly in your site pages. All right, well, It's going to take a minute. Oh, damn, that was quick. I thought it was going to be a second because, you know, computer's working hard as hell. next oh next we'll be learning about how to pull data from Gatsby site 
using GraphQL using plugins. All right, let's go ahead and update this. <clears throat> Import GraphQL from Gatsby. Data. And export Times query I'm just gonna copy this and paste it here. And then replace this data dot site dot site meta data dot title. All right, looks like we're good. <clears throat> Let's go on to part five. I'm going to stop the tape and I'll be back. Thank you again for watching.